guys this is stock m and i'm playing on the crack pack server yeah my friends my friends <laughs> i had a close death encounter yeah um i was in the um freaking dream dimension there in the spirit world and i had no needle and I thought of a way to kill myself and yeah there is the sacrificial dagger of blood magic can show you um, it's really easy to make so I wondered if I where is it uh, sacrificial oh, sacrificial blade how is it called uh, no let me quickly look it up Sacri here knife all right <laughs> Blade, sword, knife, whatever. It's the knife. And it's easy to make. You just need some gold and some iron and some glass. And then you can make that thing. And yeah, you can kill yourself with it. And I thought that would be an easy and nice alternative to the icy needles you normally uh, use um, to get back. Um, because yeah, why not? You know, if you have not, I wanted to try it out. Well, the thing was, I was wearing a knapsack of Tinker's Construct. Because um, useful thing, you know, carry stuff around. So I'm there and I kill myself with the sacrificial blade. And what do I see? I crash. <laughs> Next thing I know, I come back, uh, log back in and I can click um, respawn. And um, what else could I click? Yeah. Yeah, the, the settings you have there, respawn and game menu or whatever it is. I die rarely in Minecraft, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so, and what I see in front of me is my knapsack lay lying on the floor. And the items I had in the knapsack, which was cobblestone and all kinds of crap I just was putting in there, were laying there too. So it seemed there is some kind of glitch. And... Maybe we can make use of that to easily bring an ender chest in there and from there on progress rapidly and skip a lot of the painful plan I revealed last time, which would include villagers and all kinds of things. So let's try it out. I'm a bit scared. It was a scary thing because yeah, I could not respawn on the first instance and it crashed. Maybe I lose all my gear or what. Um... I think I will put everything I have in my ender chest. No, that is a bad idea. If you have to delete my player file, my ender chest is gone too. I must put everything in a normal chest. Let's see, put it all here. Okay. Just to be sure. Everything. And also my that I need. The armor has to go in there too. Okay. Just to be sure. Um, naked, we got the brew, and um, we have our our backpack on. Here we go. Now, now we just need to have no nightmares when we go in. Um, that would suck. Then we have to try again. Okay, going in. Okay, everything seems fine. So we spawn around here. We need to remember that place when we go in from the door. So I went down here and collected a bunch of resources. I have a bit of gold and here I should have some glass cooking. Yeah, collected that over there. And you can see we have a gravestone here as well. This is where I killed myself with the sacrificial blade. So um, in this gravestone I should have, I don't know, what did I have on me? Let's, let's find out. Oh, my sacrificial knife. I don't even have to make it again. That's brilliant. Okay, so let's see if my if my plan works out. I'm, I'm already excited, so I'll show you. You know, I just kill myself here with the sacrificial knife. We might crash or something, but upon respawn, um, we should hopefully see the knapsack uh, dropped here, and then we can pick up the ender chest after we came back in a second time, because I don't think stuff will despawn um, as long as we're outside because I found some skeleton bones when I was wandering around. So okay, sacrificial sacrifice knife action. We're gonna kill ourselves. So hopefully we don't crash now like we did last time. Not the server, only client. Okay, killing myself. Yep, 
We crashed again. Okay, so now let's see what happens. See if the same thing happens like last time and the knapsack thing was lying there. Okay, we are respawning. I'm dead. I don't know. Last time I saw it laying in front of me. Okay, I'm going to click respawn now. Spawn some. We crashed again. Same thing happened before. And now, let's see. Loading screen. We are back. Okay, we are back. Everything works. So now, check it. Our knapsack is gone. Our knapsack is gone now. Very good sign. Let's double check. It is definitely gone. So that worked. We left it over in the spirit world. <laughs> and now, we're gonna go back in. The pots you keep. And the chest we got. <laughs> yes. Okay. We should be able to send items back and forth now. Alright. <laughs> Get our sacrificial blade back. Put that in here. And yeah. Now we made it in here, now we need to kill ourselves traditional way. But with this ender chest we should now be able to transport items back and forth. <laughs> the easy way without uh, doing the villager trading and all that stuff. Man, that's brilliant. Okay, um, I guess I will just try to drown myself then. I guess that shall be the easiest way before we recover more health. Quick. I don't want to use the sacrificial blade now again. I'm just going to drown myself. That should be a regular death and we should should get back to to, the, to our yeah, to our place without any problems. And then we can put stuff in the ender chest and then we can transfer stuff back and forth. For example, the potions and a kettle we can send over. Um, and if that ender chest works, we might even have the possibility to use one of the other ender chests which can be automated, then we can automatically send stuff back and forth and uh, draw it out there. That should hopefully work out. Okay, come on. We don't lose our levels as well when we die in here, which makes sense. Okay. Only a full health bar to go. We want to see if we crash. That is um, what we want to find out. Okay, because when there's no nightmare, it's pretty hard to die in here if you don't have one of those needles. Um, I should get me a bunch that is the easiest way to get back and forth, of course. But now all of that is easy. Oop. We died and we are back home. Sweet. So now should be able to transport stuff back and forth. I'm gonna get all my stuff. Oh no. I don't need that stuff back. And then I'm gonna send some needles in there and uh, put some other useful stuff in. Uh, we need over in our new... <laughs> this is our own land, by the way. Nobody else can come there. It's my, our own dimension. <laughs> we can store things in there in this other dimension. Um, I need to try out to make one of these other ender chests too. Um, those. I'm pretty sure those were interdimensional too, so if the normal ones work, this should probably work too. But first, we need to confirm that the ender chests actually work. That would be hilarious now, if he, if he can't uh, access it. Okay, I'm just gonna put that in here, and um, we'll see if that works. Let me put that on. Okay, and uh, first I want to get one of those needles though. All right, going back in. I just wondered about the crazy noise when we died. Then the dimension that was not us. That was BTC killing witches, I think. Um, as far as I can tell. Okay, going back in. We're in. We got one needle with us. Looking good. Continue. 
confirmed. Holy crap, VTC. Man, <laughs> what you doing? Stop killing those poor witters. <laughs> okay, so the plan has succeeded. I'm gonna get ready here and yeah, when I'm established a bit more over here, I see you. Okie dokie. I think I have everything I need. I have a second ender chest, which is double color coded with pink here. Um, I got netherrack for the fire under the kettle. We got a flint and steel to ignite it, bucket for the water, glass bottles, then we got ingredients, which we need for this here. For this brew, which can only be made, obviously, inside the um, spirit world. And then I got a bunch of ice needles and snowballs. It's maybe we can also plant some wispy cotton, but there has to be one of those, um, how is it called? flowing spirit things close by then it can spread or something pretty tricky this is end game witchery stuff here we are approaching which is really cool and interesting a um, lot of fun i have to say it's really cool to do the research and find stuff out and find these glitches and so on i'm having fun all right so let's enter the spirit world hopefully there's no nightmare no man we've been lucky Barely no nightmares lately. <coughs> okay, here we got our stuff. So first of all, uh, we want to try out um, if the ender chest works. Ah, I didn't put anything in there, didn't I? Oh well, let's put it down and we can try it out then. But pretty sure it should work interdimensional. I'm gonna put something in from here. These cotton seeds and we can check when we go back. Okay, that is done. So next up, we need to set up our kettle here. Um, we're just gonna set it up right here. Okay, that works. Then we need to set it on fire. Put the kettle on top. That's done. Not fancy, but for now it'll work. Give me that dirt. Put it here. Okay. Oh man, this latest death point. I need to switch it off anytime soon. All right, so now um, we need to grab a bit of water, make an infinite source close by, and get. A oh, there's my knapsack. Huh. Got that back too. Sweet. But we cannot use it here. So I guess we're gonna send it. I know, we can send it through with that. Test it too. Okay, um, yeah. I'll set up an infinite water source here somewhere and get a little bit situated and I'll be right back. Okay, we are ready to brew. Got all the stuff on me. Let's do this. That, this, that, that, that. Yes, that looks good. Sweet. Brew of the flowing spirit. Can now make that. And wait a minute. Um, then I need my bucket. I think you can pick that stuff up. We're gonna we're gonna waste one. I mean we can make more if we need to. And I wanna see. It should leave a source block there, and the source block can be picked up. Okay, let's let's try it out. Yep. Okay. So this thing should have a regen effect or so. Yeah, it has regen. Okay, pretty interesting. And it weakens mobs. And it can be picked up with a bucket. And now we have a spirit bucket. Pretty cool. Okay, and one we want to use for the brewing back home. Or for distilling, better say. Oh, you get a brew of hollow tears out of it. What does that do? A brew of hollow tears. I have to look that up. Okay, but okay, with some oil of vitriol in the distillery. And then we can get condensed fear out of it. Cool. And with the condensed fear, we finally can try to get our next thing summoned. <laughs> Man, this is getting exciting. All right, so... um. Bring stuff back home. We're gonna try this out. 
If not, we have to come back one more time. Give me one needle. Okay, so let's try out. Let's go home and see if um, the other chest works too. I cleared that out. Okay, going home. Okay, that worked. Cool, now let's check. Why wouldn't it work? Why wouldn't it work? That is actually pretty cool. That means we can automatically send stuff back and forth, not only manually. Huh. That's pretty cool. I wonder if you can keep a chunk loaded in that world and make it constantly grow stuff for us in there. Hmm. Well, now we know we can transport stuff. That is good to know. Um, wait, I'll send that back, cotton seeds. And next step now is we need to brew stuff. We need to make the condensed fear. All right, so we need oil of vitroil. And that should work out. Let's see, we should have that. Let's check here. Yep. Bunch of it. Go to one of our distilleries. Oop, not toss it unintentionally. Okay. Ah, we got some more devon, demonic blood. Okay, one of these goes in there and one of that goes here. Okay. We are distilling and that should give us the condensed fear. And then we can call forth the next demon. Let's see. The banshee. I wonder how that thing goes. <laughs> Wormwood, graveyard dust, we have all of that. Okay, let's get it right away. Wormwood, graveyard dust. Okay, I think I'll put that in here for now. You can also use these things to make, uh, make these spirit portals that uh, would also be interesting to try out for sure. Um, we need to make another flint and steel. The other one is over in the other dimension. Grab some. Yeah, we have a lot of flint. <laughs> okay. Bam. So now, how is the distilling going? Aha. Brew of hollow tears. <coughs> I wonder what that stuff does. Eight of them. We definitely need to look. I'm gonna look that up. <coughs> Excuse me. Condensed fear. Focused will. That also sounds good. Any use? Mm, doesn't say. Okay, we have to look it up out as well. But we will find it out. Focused will. Put that in here. Okay, now. Time to summon a bungee. Benji. Do we wanna sleep real quick? Guess we should. Mm, maybe someone else sleeps with us. I'll be right back. Ah, jet left. Okay. No need. You can do it right away. What? Where is my sleeping bag? Ah, we got it. Okay. So. Condensed fear it is. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Light it up. It should take about 30 seconds. Wait a minute. Last time, that thing really got us good. So I'll better be safe than sorry. <laughs> Full blood gear. Okay, let's see what that thing does. Oh. <gasps> it just looks at ah oh what what who is you doing that?
Was ist das, ein Poltergeist? Do we have a Poltergeist too? Yeah, yeah. He's invisible. I can see his particles. We killed a Poltergeist just there. Ah, that's nice if you get a Poltergeist too there. You rarely get them. We need to catch them. We can do that. There's a... Whoa. Holy crap. Wait a minute. I wanna I wanna check check something. Um I think we're fairly safe at the moment. Doesn't look like he's totally shredding us. There's a skeleton in there. Okay, here's the thing. Where is it? Oh ah ooh. Okay guys, um I think I have to kill it. Ooh. Holy crap, that thing is horrible. <clears throat> and they bypass our armor. It's pretty bad. <laughs> this is pretty bad. You want to handle them? How, how am I going to handle five? That is not possible without a force field. We need to catch them in these things. Um, I need to look at how, look up how they were called. Hmm. Yeah, this is gonna be tricky. <laughs> Holy crap! Not even with full full blood armor, we were safe with them. The screech. We need to cover our ears. <laughs> Man, horrible, horrible things. Okay, but nevertheless, we need to continue with our plan. We want to spawn one more. And try to kind of capture it or something. Ready, we are back in the spirit world, and this time I took all my gear with me. I just put it all in the ender chest, everything I had on me. And yes, yeah, spirit, spirit world. Um, let me put on the right gear, get stuff sorted a little bit. That on two, that on three, and we should be cool. Maybe food. Um, okay, the healing axe. So, now we can explore in here with some better equipment, which should make things way more easier. So, you saw these yellow sparkly things flying about or around ever so often. Those are spirits and you have to catch them um, if you want to do some... Here, is that... No, that's a node. Okay, I wonder if I see a spirit now. I saw them all the time. Now when you look for them, you can't find them. I saw him plentiful. So in any case, I need those suckers. Um, you can punch him and then eventually subdue him. And um, yeah, I want to see if I can catch them with a pokeball here. <laughs> a safari net. Um, if that is the case, things will be easier. Then we can just mass spawn him in and punch him until we have enough. Or let them be punched, maybe even. That would be even more... Convenient. Okay, why why can't I find a spirit anywhere now? Nope. Ah, way more convenient in here with all my gear, I have to say. I just cannot forget <laughs> when we go back out again, I have to put it in the ender chest before, otherwise we will lose everything, I think. And we don't want to risk that. Because, yeah, inventory will basically be reset and only certain items can make it through. Here's the village. I marked out home here so we can't get lost, but yeah, <laughs> basically the same map. If you would get lost on here, that would be quite weird. It is weird that everything is cleared. Um, so yeah, I'll I'll <laughs> circle around here a bit and hopefully see one of these spirits. Um, before I saw many, now I don't see any. Maybe we have to come here during nightmare time. It would also be interesting to see what one of those... Nightmares can do with our gear, but I don't want to risk it. So, <gasps> there is one. There is one. Okay, let's see. Did we catch it? No. There it sits. It's quick. Come here, little thing. Can we get it? I don't think so. 
But we should we should be able to punch him, right? No. I don't think we can get him. Maybe it's tricky to get him at the right moment. If he could catch him, that would be cool. Hmm, that should have gotten him. Okay, I'm gonna chase it around a bit and try to subdue it then. Let's punch it a bit. Where is it? Come back. How do you wanna how do you wanna catch these things if you cannot fly? Wait a minute, this is all let's make it even easier for us. Okay, where are we at, freaking thing? Here it is. Stay here. Man, this is gonna be the biggest pain ever to catch these things. I punched it a bit. Aha! We got him. So... Now, before I chase more of them like crazy, we can bring them. We can bring him back if we right-click on the floor. So let's go in into an enclosed space here. So he cannot really escape from us. And then we put him down, and then we try if we can get him with the the safari net. Okay, he will not be able to escape here. Is there? No. We can't get him. Hm. Come on. Oh, we don't want to kill him, though. Okay. We got him. So, uh, we have to catch him by hand, as it seems. Well, still, with our gear in here, this should be not too hard. And I'm gonna try to catch more. Okay, guys. This is this is gonna be tricky. Uh, I'm not right. What? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, wake up. Okay, uh, let's do this. So, everything is prepared. Let's go through it step by step so everything is clear. We want to create um, the sentinel. That requires three spirits and three spirit uh, uh, spectres. Three spirits and three spectres. So the spirits is no problem. We have them caught here. We can get them in here. The problem is the timing for the um, yeah spectres here and have everything going in the same um, or at the same time. So first of all, we're gonna do a ritual of imprisonment that is caused by the slime ball and by the redstone. Then we toss the scarecrow, a tune stone. Necromantic stone and a bowline in there. Then we need to light all these three, which are then be loaded with the ingredients to spawn the spectres uh, in quick succession, like boom, 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 like like this. It all has to work properly. Maybe I'll approach him from behind, or like this. Yeah, this should work. And then we have to time exactly about twenty. Yeah, 25 seconds or so. I'm going to use my stopwatch for that. And then we need to start the ritual here. So that it, you know, f that we catch them all and everything goes in order. But this is what we have to do. will be really tricky. So first of all, spectres. We need to get uh, the stuff we need for them. And load up our things. So that was wormwood, wool of the bed, graveyard dust. Okay, I'm going to prepare us that here and then I'll be back. All right, we're good to go. So first of all, we need to drop all the ingredients in here. That completes that. Next step is I need to light that and then start my stopwatch. Okay. It worked. Start the stopwatch. Okay. Timing is crucial. Five seconds in. I, I started a bit late, 10 seconds in, I'm gonna hit it at 20 here, out of my way, we're doing stuff, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, okay, activating it,
<laughs> well, that failed. Well, great. I was able to recover the scarecrow. There is my grave, and now I have these spectres sitting there. <laughs> the trapping of them worked brilliantly. Yep. <laughs> Man. Okay, let's see if we can dig out our gravestone here. Until they can reach us. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Um, looks like we got most of the stuff back. Maybe some spirits escaped. Let's see. Um, first of all, we need to get rid of those guys. That is for sure. That is spooky. Um, okay. Sigil of Holding. I need the Fast Miner. First try obviously failed. We were good with the timing, only didn't complete in the last part. Those things are deadly. Oh man, okay. Regroup, let's try again. Okay. <laughs> let's try that again. <sighs> okay, so first drop all stuff in. Got everything in. Now, need to get my stop clock ready. Okay. We light that stuff up. Oh man, which get out of there. Stop clock, it's running. Keep that ready. And activate. We had 10 seconds, I'm gonna go at 21 or so, 22, hopefully. 16, 18, 19, 20, 22, activating. I got the three things in. Crap. No, 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 no. Can we get them in here? Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Crap. Ah, oh, man. Failed again. Okay. Let's do this again. Reset my timer. Throw everything in. One, two, that, 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 that. Light the brazers. Start the stop clock. Okay, I was too early this time. This time we cannot be too early. Ten seconds in. Okay, 20 seconds in, 22, 23, I'm gonna start it now. What failed? It worked! Oh! Yes, we got it. We were running through. I saved it. Oh, yes. I ran through and spawned a few more in. I think it worked. It consumed stuff. Yes, we have a sentinel scarecrow. 
Hallelujah. Oh my God. Unbelievable. Holy crap, that was annoying. We did it. Oh, what a save. Oh man, okay. Now we have the Sentinel and this thing will protect our place. Um, I need to figure out how to control that before I do anything more. Um, I just know you can even hide it in the spirit world. So yeah, um, I'll read up some info about that thing, how to control it and then I'll be back. Okay, seems pretty straightforward. Let's test it out. I'm gonna place that thing down. Scarecrow. And now with the bowling. No, 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 no. That was so stupid. Ooh. No, 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 no. Oh, crap. We need to recover some health. It is maybe smart to use your tag lock on it first. With your tag lock, you can make it safe. <laughs> Oh crap, if we get close to our own base we get killed. But man, this thing is lethal. Lethal. Wow. Okay, we have to chill a bit. <laughs> and then we have to uh, click on it. Wait, so right now it's activate if a player is nearby whose tag lock is unknown. So yeah. Um, doesn't know our tag lock so it attacks us. The second stage would be activate if a player is nearby whose tag lock is known. So also, you know, if put a tag lock in there, it attacks us. And then activate if a player or creature is nearby whose tag lock is unknown. Activate when some known creature are nearby. So yeah, I need to get it to deactivated state. Uh jeez, this is gonna be <laughs> Man, those things are deadly. Deadly. If those are positioned in the correct spot, nobody knows what the heck is going on. It act it attacks zombies down there, as far as I can tell right now. Maybe you can even use it for mob grinding. But we need our tech lock. We need our tech lock, okay. Using a bound on the fetish, okay, we need... Let's see if we can, if we can get in. I set it to um, activate if a player is known. Oh, dang it, it's on in the wrong mode now anyways. Okay, I need to get close to it and s and switch it more. Okay. Okay. We switched it twice. That thing is deadly. Holy crap. Um Okay. We need to go to deactivated state. Let's try again. Disabled. Ooh. Okay, wowzer, you nasty little thing. And you know what you can do? You can put that in the in the spirit world, you know, hide it in the spirit world. And as the locations are exactly the same, I could exactly figure out a perfect spot and then it will have the same effect in the overworld here, but can't be touched because it's in my spirit world. Yep, and if you want to mess with it, of course, you have to go to the spirit world. Try it out. Um, guess we will not call BTC and test it with him. Okay, so let's see. Um, I need to get in here and get my tag log out. Do I have Do I have one of mine up here? No, but I have my tag log in there. Okay, witchery bag. Holy crap, that stuff is lethal. Get the key. And this didn't come to pick up his cat yet. Wonder. Okay, so let's see. Tag lock B double O, Arcas, Etho, Pack Red Dog. Okay. okay, let's close the door again. Never know. Okay. And let's go to that scarecrow and make it safe for us at least. I'll leave it here for now. I leave it here for now. It's it's fair. Okay. So the thing is tag lock to dog M now. So now in the first state activate if it uh, if uh, okay. So now 
I'm in the whitelist. If BTC comes here, we shall see what happens. Wait a minute. We'll try that out. Yo, BTC. Can you come over real quick? To my base. Oh yeah, let's see what happens to him. There he comes. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see. <laughs> oh. They only attacked him once. Did they drop down? Where are they? What are they doing, those idiots? Well, that was not impressive. I think we don't have it positioned in a, in, a, in a very good spot here. We need to reposition it inside my base. All right. Um, one sec. Can we just tear it down like that? Yeah. But I lost the tag lock now. Yeah. Okay. But inside my base it should be diesel. With a scarecrow here somewhere. I wonder what PTC wants to try. So well, I'll figure that out. See you next time. I hope you enjoyed, guys. Bye!